Hi everyone and welcome to Stasis. Um, we burned the oxygen supply, uh, helped a poor woman end her life, and now we're looking for our daughter again. Whoa! Looks like this place is being expanded. Seed was always expanding. That place scares me. Thanks. Oh, sorry. Did you guys hear music? Someone singing? Hmm. What is this? Power cell? Okay. Mm -hmm. Hanging wires. Plastic. Elevator. Toolbox. We've all looked in the toolbox. Warning. Holy shit, what's that? Halothane hepatotoxicity is at an elevated level. Holy sh- I died. Apparently that thing has guns. Not the good kind of guns. Where is she to? Where is Rebecca? She's in a container with the other I can see. a woman in her mid-thirties, head shaved, limbs atrophied, humescent in pregnancy. She is connected to a machine that feeds and sedates her. These women must have families and lives. You can't do anything for them now. Soon this ship will run out of oxygen. They won't be in pain for much longer. A second in this place is more torture than anyone should bear. She is trying to communicate by her words a little more than slurred vowels. Her throat is dry and she is clearly extremely weak. I need help. I'm gonna help you. Just close your eyes. You remember seeing Renaissance-era sculptures of nuns in Holy Communion. Their eyes rolled back, bodies contorted in ecstatic agony. There's a hint of that expression across this unconscious woman's face. Just breathe in and out. Soon you wake up from this. Power cell. Okay, this again. Can't do anything about this. What is this? Portable defibrillator. A defibrillator. And it looks like it's fully charged. Yay! Bloated fetus. Okay. Ooh. More reading? Yes. Project Seed rev revised version 6. Update by Dr. G. Milan, Kane Corporation, all rights reserved. For the eyes of the King Board of directors only. Seed is an attempt to create the ultimate super soldier by, in simple terms, activating junk strands of human DNA. Over the years, the human genome has shed or made dormant certain strands of its own DNA sequence for various evolutionary reasons. Professor Salam Gerund observed that certain dormant parts of these genes were not so much junk as they were potential. That is, genetic information contained and completely sublimated by a dominant gene. Oh, take it easy. Professor Gerund engineered an early life form based on this original theory by introducing these identified 
genetic strands in the early stage of embryo formation. The initial concept was intriguing, but his ultimate result was a group of uncontrollable animalistic creatures. Version 6 of this proposal is to update these dormant genes into the human makeup by use of genetic splicing, thereby introducing desirable physical and mental characteristics over a generation to produce fast learning, hard to kill, and utterly ruthless soldiers. Dr. G. Malone. Observation Report 001, 0001 by Dr. C. Williams. Oh dear. Her vital signs are steady, cert certain hormonal levels are extremely high, but I'm countering this with the ju judicious administration of depressants in each case. Survival of chance is very high. She is young, healthy, and there are no signs of any infections or complications capable of disrupting the birth. Recommendations keep on under observation. Prepare for phase one treatment. Observation report 0002 by Dr. C. Backman. The subject, despite her promising early progress, appears to be failing. Susp Suppose supposition is that she cannot withstand the foreign genetic structure that is being fused into her body. Typical signs of rejection are being displayed. Recommendation observed for an additional 24 hours. If there are no signs of improvement, then termination and disposal of the patient is recommended. Observation report 0003 by Dr. C. Backman. The subject is progressing well as well as being a aesthetically attractive. She has all of the other genetic traits required initial concerns about her suitabil suitabil <laughs> suitability. Voiced by Dr. C. Milan. Dr. Milan, not C. Milan. Uh, chiefly due to the number of her sexual partners having proven unfounded. She would be a perfect carrier. The hybrid DNA is fusing to my satisfaction. Apart from a small amount of pain, her body appears to be coping with the adjustments. I have prescribed her a steady dose of anesthetics to keep her subdued and comfortable. Hybrid subject number 302 by Dr. G. Milan. G. Okay, G. Not C. Since delivery, hybrid subject 302 have been kept inside an incubator due to its respiratory distress assisted breathing is required cardiac arrest has occurred and the use of automated external defibrillators have been required to revive the child i deduce that the conditions and sickliness are due to the late mole molecular bonding between hybrid and host dna in the mother a weak nervous system is all also highly likely in this case but the subject's regenerative abilities can sim be stimulated with steroids Conclusion. The child is weak but still will survive. The mother is suitable for continued breathing. Bre breathing, not breathing. Okay. There is a calmness about the suspended womb, but the pungent smell of amniotic fluid makes the prolonged observation unbearable. The sack of. They don't look human. Hybrid? I can't tell. The sack of organic matter sways peacefully in its slumber, punctuated by a pulsating movement from within. The fluid sac rolls gently to and from, containing neither human nor animal, but a medical marvel nonetheless. The awful, engorged placenta hangs like a ripened fruit. The horror of this enlarged fetus sac is matched only by the horror eee! within its fleshy walls. The thing inside the incubator is anathema to nature. Nah. What is wrong with my pronunciation today? Shit. To nature, the poor creature should not exist, and what life it shows is reluctant and painful. Okay. Lovely room we found. Lovely room. Run, 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 run. Holy shit. This room wasn't better. What is that? Pulsating mass of flesh and bone. A hideous agglomeration of flesh and bone. Limbs just haphazardly from its mass. It spouts, sports a human head that gurgles out of sync with the pulsing of its other part. Ooh. Oh dear. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry you have to exist. Dr. Marvin de Santos. Man, that bitch from shipping won't get off my back. 
You fuck a girl real good and she just comes crawling back. If she doesn't get out of my hair, I'll have her moved off ship. Dr. Milan is a prick, but he looks after me like that. I gotta say, being a project seed being a project seed is awesome, man. Okay, we gotta do some pretty noxious shit. But in exchange I got a lot of protection and an honorary honorary title. Dr. De Santos, I like it. Dr. Milan knows about my contacts and private cargo that arrives on board and I know he hates it. But there ain't nobody else prepared to work under Dr. Backman. That guy is one twisted fuck. And also one of my best customers. I get imports, imports, sure, but my own private lab is what manufactures Batman's pathway shit. Funny, I never realized how dependent these smart asses of science are on drugs. Personally, never touch this stuff. You gotta have your wits uh, about you, man, especially around here. Wow, Dr. Williams, Charlotte. I never would have figured that uptight one was a slut, but holy hell, she just gave me the ride of my fucking life. Who'd have thought it? Slinky lace under that lab coat of hers, and for a woman in her mid 40s, a body that makes you want to get on your knees and howl at the moon. Against the table, pressed up against the viewpoint, viewport windows on top, underneath, like a frigging, frigging rattlesnake. Of course, she's Looney Tunes. Probably thinks I'm her dead husband or something. Like I care. As long as she keeps coming to me to fulfill her needs. Crazy but smart. And she has no idea how much I know about her little project. I saw the details. People just think I'm a smart talking smartass, but I've been training on the Groom Lake since I was 16. I studied chemistry and genetics, aced all of it too. She thinks I'm too stupid to understand. Thinking I could have gotten myself in, in too deep here. The drug thing was fine, but this whole industrial espionage thing is kind of freaky. I don't think Dr. Milan knows. I know Lincoln watches me with an eagle eye, but he can't know for sure. If he did, he'd eject my ass from the ship with the rest of the failed hybrids. But goddamn, the money's good. I earned my year's salary by sending some info to Black Star Industries. My contact gave me more money than I could have could conceive for leaking one report. One. I met the guy while I was on leave. He was a smug dickhead who somehow knew what I did and then flashed the cash. I got no loyalties to the company and I know how Dr. Milan treats loyal staff. That guy can turn on the dime when it suits him. I've heard of weird shit going on down on in the decks below and the seed has and seed has me feeling it'll soon be time to get the hell out of Dodge pronto. One more one or more two more reports might just give me what I need. What does it feel like you should have just left what you could? Oh, I gotta scratch my arm, hold on. Oh, oh, there we go. Nobody knows about my little acts of espionage, but who'd care? This ship is falling apart. Some of those fucked up things that Backman and Milan made are on the prowl. I stashed away my cash as soon as I heard things were going wrong, but money ain't gonna make a bit's worth of difference if, if we all get killed. Milan's take, it, taking all this way too calmly. Actually, I, I'd say he's enjoying all this. He came into the lab this morning. He still makes us all report to the lab. I was grinning the whole damn time. His eyes all red like he was coming down from a high. That guy does not need drugs for a high. His general fuck fucked upness is what he rides. And here was me thinking Backman was a crazy one. It's just us. Oh god, not even Backman's around now. Charlotte was dragged away to the labs a few days ago. We were sold off from the other decks. I reckon it's only a matter of time before Milan decides to do something about me too. I've been living on this ship for years. I know about hidden passages that even Milan doesn't know about. I'll get over to the communications arena and let off a signal. Hopefully they'll get us to us before Dr. Milan finds out. So. I'm guessing you're dead. Holy shit, what is this? In the aftermath of this body's evisceration, you can't tell whether its legs were removed or whether it could ever had any. Come on, we allow this. This is the purpose of the Green Lake. It's not on Earth. People can't see it, so they don't care. But if they knew? So what? Okay. Hybrid Reject 8A811. Report by Dr. G. Milan. A highly unusual form of rejection such as has 
has not been observed before manifested in this hybrid. It is entirely possible that the mutagenic compounds used to synthesize the hybrid DNA was faulty in this particular instance. Usually with any rejection there is a sign of initial bonding and then a breakdown, but this but in this case there was absolutely no bonding attempt whatsoever. Given the thoroughness uh, with which we create the DNA, I suspect that the centrifuge mas machine for this particular batch was faulty. Repair and a maintenance check of the machine is ordered immediately. Recommendation, destroy what remains and also destroy the fetus. Is that a fetus? Oh dear. No medical school ever feature bodies that so grossly exhibit their internal organs. Oh. Nice. Can I... Hybrid reject C, report by Dr. C. Backman. Subject died during birth. It can only be surmised that the death was due to a failing in the host, as, a, as all reports and tests leading up to the birth show no signs of fetal defect, defect. Upon further investigation of the woman's medical history, it was noted that she experienced complications when giving birth to a child previously. This host would not have been used had this been highlighted. In light of her medical history, I now assume that this was the cause of her fetal of the fetal distress and death of the subject. Host is being kept alive and has undergone one transfusion recommendation. Revoke host's life support order and dispose of body with hybrid reject C. Nice. One of the failed experiments, a lump of organs held together by wrinkled skin, bone poked from through the flesh. Oh dear lord. <laughs> Hybrid Reject 604, reporting by Dr. C. Williams. During the autopsy of hybrid, hybrid 604, there was signs of renal failure. It appears the kidneys were unable to process the amino acids required for the breakdown of nutrients. Uh, the damage to the liver, stomach, and intestines showed the same de de degeneration, degenerative patterns. Recent, it is possible that the report of the mother giving birth three months prior was an error. Comment. Further reports regarding the failure of mutagenic compounds were finalized later. The corpse of a creature hangs preserved may have been twin. Two heads are fused together and a pair of spines meet. Each spine wraps around the other like a gnarled mountain. Ooh, what's this? Liquid nitrogen. Why do I need liquid nitrogen? Skeleton. The stented creature appears to be a hybrid, although of what is unknown, it's not completely human. What that much is absolutely certain. Can I do something with this? Yep, same thing as before. Ooh, okay. If they were more open, this wouldn't happen. Open to who? The people? Governments? Other corporations? What cost? A bit of our humanity, I suppose. What is this? <sighs> oh, Backman. See, Backman. They said I'd never make it to 60. Ha! 85, you fuckers. Old and still cooking with gas. Three bastard kids and I outlived them all. That's not a good thing. Okay, so I was young when I had them. Those girls never even knew I was the father, of course. I had to switch the DNA samples so they didn't know the little shits were mine. I'm too old now for that, all that, but you never completely lose your eye for ladies. I don't like you already. I might have false teeth, Dr. Malam, but I'm no moron. For the good of humanity, I'm a so sociopath and alleged rapist of women. Oh my god. But your little speech to the crew was less sincere than anything I could say with a straight face. At least you know how to turn a blind eye whenever I have to get rid of troublesome subjects, right Milan? The new gas for the chambers is working splendidly. Uh, an improved kill rate of 60% on the old formula. I, I watched those poor fuckers writh and die. We have a viewing window now. <clears throat> Just so we can make sure it's done. If I were a moral man, I'd call it perverse. It's lucky for Project C that I couldn't give a shit. I thrive when I don't have to answer to anyone with a, with a conscience. You're a very horrible man. 
This will not do, not at all. I need more subjects. The rejection ratio of the DNA splicing is stratospheric. So not only do I need more bodies, but I need better ones. They bring me imports and strays, but the best results are achieved with crew members. One cannot prey too often on those, of course, no matter what, no matter the need. My chosen ones were always those who wouldn't be missed. The furnace are inadequate for my disposal requirements. I'm told they're so hot that they could destroy dark matter. They seem slow to respond when burning flesh though. And the smell is hardly pleasant either. It reminds me of that injured dog that I found as a little boy growing up in Missouri. It looked at me with a pleading look, the kind that a sick patient gives a doctor they trust absolutely. Naturally, I stomped on the mongrel's head. It was mer it was mercy. <laughs> my god. There are too many in society who have sim similarly d damaged disposition. It's a kindness to snuff out their worthless lives. Oh my god, this man is awful. I have to drink some water. Oh god. <laughs> it hurts my throat reading this. Next. I must get more pathway. That little prick de Santos is usually more them forthcoming with his ingredients but he says his own suppliers are having problems i know you santos i know you're not a real doctor i know the kind i have five phds and i can tell when men have been hired for their instinct rather than their knowledge meanwhile the cutting and splicing continues oh and charlotte we all knew about your little experiment you stupid bitch first she kills her patient by accidentally exposing him to a lethal virus and then she goes gaga for him that's the sort of beautiful incompetence that slays me I spent years perfecting the art of the kill of a kill, uh, making a murder appear a mishap, and she went and did it all completely by accident. What a perfect nonsense! Oh God! I held the subject down today and used my surgical hammer to cave in his windpipe. Oh! Then I gouged out his eyes and tried to rip his jaw from its socket. My goodness, what an outburst. I'm becoming careless. I need more pathway. Dr. Milan is starting to worry that my tendencies cannot be controlled. He need not worry. I'm still focused on seed. Seed is still just that, a seed. But this chrysalis will soon break open and blossom. The successful bred homonovi wait in their containment cells, while their unsuccessful brethren reduced to a viral mulch that's already breached the containment seals of the ship grow. So that wasn't a fungus, that was just hybrid ma oh god. Its genetic makeup make ma might be a little more than trash, but it is astoundingly tenacious. I have to respect that which kills with that which kills with such efficiency. I woke up in the emergency room today. Somebody found me on the stairs. I can't remember much. What I do know is that both my fucking legs are up in casts. I better get comfortable because Dr. Cream says I'll be in here for at least a month. We die as the Novi cut us down, but I'm not ready to be replaced by a new species. Our creations are impressive, but I don't share Dr. Malan's fanaticism for what is happening here. I must try to make sure no one, uh, sure one of those lifeboats are available for me. A shame there was no other for that delectable young thing. What was her name? Callister? I would like to have her around when this ship was going to help. She's dead, however. How unfortunate. I may be old, but I'll tear anyone who tries to stop me from leaving apart at the limbs. I have survived police investigations, court cases, vengeful spouses, and idealistic lab hands. I will gut any ship by trying to prevent my escape, and that includes you, Milan. I will jab out your eyeballs and eat them before I submit to you. You are a very horrible man, and I am glad you are dead. No. No! Run! Okay. Can I do something with this? I got this. Can I put it in the sink? I could! Can I activate the sink? I could! Can I... Defibrillate it? Oh, good! 
Oh, I missed him. I am not gonna go back. <laughs> I was gonna go out and go like, Hero back, come back. But its range is very long. Here you go. I was gonna say it didn't work, but it did. Suck on that bitch. Okay. Can I do something with you? Easy does it. God, I just need it. Quick. Out. <laughs> Got it. What did I get? What did you pull? What did you know to pull? What the. Twisted metal. Okay. Warning. The oxygen atmosphere generating system is no longer functioning. Product failure is imminent. That is bad. Can I do something with this thing? Nope. What is this? Power pad? No. Crazy. Twist the metal. I don't think this will fit. Okay. Where did my gun go? I thought I got a gun. Alright, I died. I didn't pick it up. Can I do something with it? Oh, I could. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing we need to go and get the... That's a power pad. I thought that was a... Um, what was it called? Uh, one of those thingies. That doesn't say anything. Looks like this place is being expanded. Yeah, that one. High, expanding. high temperature slug gun. Thanks. Oh. Sorry. Can I use this with this? No. Crazy. Yep. Okay, let's try and see if we can use this gun on that. Okay, because there's a power pad. Oh. Hey, where? <laughs> Holy shit! Do we still have that? Yeah, I do. Great. No, wait, no, no. In there. What the fuck? We have green man. We officially have small green man. One is falling, falling from the operating table only to crawl around in aimless. This shit is straight out of the eugenics war. I taught this in my history class. All of this research will be lost. Does that mean that this was for nothing? For nothing. These are the things that are making that sound. Holy shit. <laughs> Oh Francis, I still lie awake at night thinking of you. You haunt my dreams, my nightmares, and my fantasies. We found love, dear. Even when we worked in Kane's Sydney lab, creating viral strains that could turn a human inside out, we loved and made love. Ours was a match made in heaven. We worked only on only the most exciting viruses and pathogens. Our work together was a Mozart's requiem, a piece of perfection. My work now is a pale imitation of what it once was, oh Francis. How long ago was it now? It must have been ten years, but it feels like only yesterday. You were too sick to transfer to the Groom Lake when I did. You died just as I took up my post. But don't fret, my angel. I've begun concocting a way of bringing you back to life. I always called you my little Frankenstein, do you remember? Shredding the boundary between life and death was always your ultimate goal. Well now, with Project Seed entering its second phase, my plan can finally be put into practice. 
You're Charlotte. Charlotte. You're that that sexy mid forties woman with lace. I'm sorry. It feels bad, but uh, yeah, I'm whatever. The laboratories are off limits between 2 a.m. and 4 a.m. So that's when I work. Naturally, I prepared all the calculations and machine settings in my quarters. I keep the subject under a false name in one of the pods. So far, not even Dr. Milan knows what I'm doing. Each major laboratory operation I perform takes no more than an hour, and I always erase the machine records at the end of each one. I'm using your DNA, my darling. With the enhanced regenerative abilities of the genetic material we have already synthesized for seed, you will be reborn but you'll be impervious to physical degeneration, immune to sickness and pain. I'll have done what you would have wanted and unblemished and reconstituted from you. Now wait. Wanted and made you perfect, and when you step healthily, unblemished and reconstituted from your glass womb, you'll never leave me again. Things have felt strange lately. My work continues, but I swear, darling Francis, I can feel you watching me. I'm trying to work longer hours to complete the new and reborn you, but it's not easy. Marvin has already had a look at some of my work and I'm sure as if he'd had any concept what I'm trying to achieve anyway. I still wonder, my darling, why you cursed me as you died. You know it was an accident. I know you remember that. It was a murder. I've never committed a murder, not even when we tested a pathogen on those troublesome neighbors. It was an experiment. How were we, so, how were we to know that they'd choke to death on their own innards? Ugh. I suppose this was a possibility, but that's science. I fear for your continued life. I'm afraid Milan knows. Who else knows? Had they contaminated you? I will run an extra test to make sure your code is not flawed or altered in any way. I'm anxious. I've started scratching my arms badly. At this rate, I may end up looking like that leper's toad backman. <laughs> Oh, my dearest Francis, I have failed you. Malan knows. He confronted me about it directly. He wants me to me to make you just like them. I cannot have you crawling on all fours like some dog in the streets. The very idea offends me. I will protect you with my life. You will be reborn. I swear this on my life. I hope that is not him. He seems very sad in that case. Subject 82509, Lana. Subject host, Tara McCormick, First Lieutenant, Marine Liaison. Subject observations. Rambuctious subject appears to have inherited her mother's powerful physical build and that of aggression. Lana has the makings of an excellent alpha female candidate. Move Lana to group cell as isolation appears to promote irritability. Subject 82517, Daryl. Subject host. Willow Brody, nurse, medical deck. Subject of observations. Quiet but intelligent. Attempt to pick the lock on his cell yesterday, but failed to escape. Excellent puzzle solving skills, and while not especially aggressive, has strong build. A thinker. Mm. Subject 82522, Frederick. Uh, subject host, M Mary Maxwell, non crew member. Katra from Phobos. Subject observation. Subject shows little of his mother's solid frame, but is a superb hunter. Stalks and learns tactics by observa observing the others. Appears to be developing a strong tactical mind. <gasps> it's his wife! Subject 82599. Nay. Subject's host, Ellen Marichek. Space tourist. Subject observation. One to watch conic, extraordinary, fast and dangerous. Appears to prefer isolation as attempted pairings result in fatalities. Takes an alpha role easily. Dominates the, others no the other novi. A definite candidate for Lana's mate. Aren't you gonna say something? We just found your fucking wife. He's just like, oh, <gasps> it's okay. Oh, that. Oh, I thought that was a machine. A frightening thing creature, courtesy of King Corporation. It's moving, but seems to be unaware of its surroundings, or it could simply have accepted its fate. Especially the eyes. Don't get too close. Okay. 
but bothers really barely show any signs of life. It's tiny clinging. It's tiny clinging on to life by only the finest thread. It is not a pleasant sight to watch something so small on the fine line between life and death. This one is dead. This body is what wasted away to little more than a sinew. Oh! Got something. What is this? The creature strains that it's binding it seems healthy, though judging by the fury in its eyes, it's far from pleased. Oh. We could move. I'm trying to keep my spirits high. Maybe. The fuck? Can, can I? Let's go down here. <laughs> Read this. Don't go any further. I'm warning you now. Well, how could you do this? I do with my children as I see fit. It's barbaric. Spare me the pity of the righteous. Your daughter owes her life to me. What do you know about Rebecca? ARG was good on this ship, Mr. Maracek. Cancer, HIV, Ebola. I eliminated them all. Her life is mine to do it as I choose. I... Oh, yes. I know about everything, Johnny Boy. I know about your daughter. All about your wife. You are accountable. Jan, his signal, John. You need to hurry. We're close. Did you really need to say that thing about his wife in such a sexual manner? Oh, his own PDT? That's right. Um. The new year begins, the wheel turns, and the groom that continues to lead the vanguard of scientific discovery for all of humankind. Yet I, yeah, I feel dissatisfied. Even as the peons who work under me celebrate the new year, I wonder why? Why would you celebrate such an asinine concept as an outdated Gregorian calendar on a ship that's currently swimming through the depths of space? The reason is clear, comfort. They fear the unknown, the alien, the impossible. I do not. I embrace the unforgiving cosmos with open arms. The problem with... What is that thumping sound? Anyway. The problem with the research we do is the humans doing it. Constrained as they are by conscience, remorse and sometimes even fear, we try to grasp the infinite and give it a framework that ill fits its cosmic splendor. This is my 10th year as Special Projects Director for King Corporation. Despite my discoveries and quest for knowledge, I am held back at every turn by paperwork, moralizing scientists, and that group of degenerate, de degenerate toadies that I sit on, with, sit on the board with. If I were rid of them, then my world would then my word would be God, my word, not the word of a corporation. Still, they have their uses. The research is funded by Kane and the groom ladies kept running by the money and personnel they provide. But the time will come when all this changes. You mark my words. I'm inundated with emails from all departments about inconsist inconsistencies with storage and contaminated samples. This grand ma masquerade is sometimes more tedious than it's actually worse worth. Worst of all, that was Dr. Way and that technician, Miss Callister, is it? I um, normally make short work of such tr troublemakers. Ah, oh, shit, my back. <sighs> of such troublemakers, but it, it hardly seems worthwhile. Troublemakers must be allowed to make trouble, because if they disappear, well, that legalizes their claim, and somebody will always take up the Fallen Crusader's torch. Dr. Backman's tendencies are becoming harder to restrain, and I'm well aware of his shortcomings. The old man is as brilliant as, as he is deranged, yet manages to go about his work with sociopathic glee. He's useful to have around. He has requested more bodies for seed, specifically more women who were recently pregnant. 
that is problematic as we have very few such women on board and imports are not easy to come by. We may have to play this one under the radar. That fool Dr. Gray complained yet again about his beloved insects becoming more aggressive as a result of the power outages. So what? Let us spill out onto the decks as far as I'm concerned. The importance of seed outranks the hydroponics project work by a thousand and one. I do like playing chess with Dr. Gray, of course. I win every time. A little fact he's unlikely to tell anyone, although he does seem quite happy to contact anyone who's interested in interested with the opinion that he'd be the next best candidate for my job. Sebastian, you wouldn't, could not handle what I do. If you believe otherwise, then you're as great a fool as I imagine you to be. When the day that I foresee comes, your rotting course will be under my feet and I will laugh. Dr. Williams is still under the delusion that I don't know about her personal research. Efficiently, it's illegal for staff to conduct their own research, but this is interesting. Recreating her dead lover in the form of a hybrid. How fascinating. If it works, I'll make use of it. If it doesn't, then it'll burn with the rest of the rejects. The woman is obsessed, and I know that the Santos is playing no small part in feeding her delusions. I know her secrets. secret research won't cause me any problems, or I will never have allowed her on Project Siege. So, <coughs> it seems conta contaminated waste from the corpse disposal overspill is contaminating the ship. It's causing fungal growth, or so my various drones tell me. The fungus is a riv riveting proposition though. While I'm angry at Dr. Backman for terminating more subjects than strictly necessary, these unintended side effects are fascinating. I intimidated as intimated as much to Dr. Gray and, I, and of course stroked his ego with hints at promotion and glory. He'll keep the fungus alive and the engineers want it destroyed. But I'm sure we can delay that. The experiment is becoming more engaging by the day and I haven't even had to lift a finger. So while they clog up my inbox with demands and roam burns, I plan to play the violin. We're more than secure here anyway. And this has a certain ine inevitability about it. I must record the daily development as the experiment grows. It is as I foresaw. Panic, destruction, mayhem, and yet sea continues apace. Once the fervor and the flame dies down, we'll sweep the decks of Detritus, Detritus and repurpose all of it for my beautiful hybrid creations. No more growing plants for the good of mankind. God is no longer in the machine, my friend. I am God. My beautiful children have excelled themselves. They kill, they learn, they adapt. A primal spe species without any of the trappings of morality. It's their time now. They almost came to be once, many years ago, but were snuffed out by humanity, afraid of its natural successors. This systematic extermination was given a name, the Eugenic Wars. The public knew it was it as corporate warfare. In truth, it was a coordinated genocide. Humanity wasn't ready for Pro Professor Jiren's astounding, astounding discovery and sought to destroy it. His work was not perfect, of course. That's where I came in. I spent most of my life as part of Kane trying to access Professor Guerin's original work. Old man Kane pushed me to the top because we shared an ideal, the utilization of science for the perfection of humanity. Where we different where we differed were the met methods by which this was to be achieved. Not that he had much more to say after I held that pill to his face as I lay in the hospital bed. All for a higher purpose. Creation of our species from raw subjects will become impossible now that the crew are dead, dying or unclean, but that's hardly an issue. Any subject who were flawed or imperfect have been turned into the fertilizer that will nurture the perfection of the surviving race. Now the challenge, challenge is moving Groom Lake out of range of any other ships. No one can be allowed to escape the ship alive. Any, any good strong survivor will become members of a new race. I am their creator. I control. I Transcend. The Santos, I'm so very disappointed in you. A distress signal. I thought we were one uh, we were one mind here in seed. I'll castrate and destroy you for this betrayal. 
You, your flawed body is hardly worthy of becoming one of my children. But for now, I must turn off this accursed signal. You cannot hide from me, Marvin, you drug-peddling little fuck. I need to get out the signal. There's one more here. And this is... Robert Lincoln? Who's this? I've been reassigned to investigate the disappearance and murder of two scientists in the employ of Dr. Milan. A strange matter to be sure. I've been observing the moment movements of some of the, these eggheads and I can't say I'm too impressed. Doesn't anybody around here record their coming or goings or make any notes? There is no traditional organization in this department whatsoever. Project Seed answers to nobody, this I know, but I thought these scientific types always make notes. Not that I care about admin, but I very much care about finding out who is selling weapon grade secrets. Industrial secrets are a matter of life and death, especially death in this case. My investigation will be thorough and no stone will be left unturned. The staff here are strange and in fact I'd say a lot, lots of them are even crazy. But I couldn't care less about that, just want name and answers. I got this job because I get things done, not because of my warm, caring personality. At the moment, people are taking umbrage to my investigation, but security is a constant and essential part of shipboard life, especially when we're talking about industrial espionage. I'm not sure where the two missing scientists are, but it seems, based on the mod modified records I've found, found, that they were killed and ejected into space. Any other man would assume that these two were the criminals, but I don't buy that. As far as suspects go, I've ruled out Charlotte Williams and Marvin DeSantos. Charlotte because she doesn't know where she is half of the time, and DeSantos because he's just smirking shit up for brains. I'm confident that he Im he's involved in drug dealing and will give him this. He is cautious. He acts like he's a real ladies man. But I know the truth. I've seen, seen him rejected repeatedly at the bar. Since July, I've had to operate under the pretenses that I'm an assistant. It's lucky that in my career I've had some emergency room experience. The only other person who knows about my true purpose here is Dr. Milan. He's been encouraging. He constantly supplies me with information that I require for my investigation and at times is a little over helpful. Still, he seems honest enough. For the record, I, will, I am well aware of the kind of man Dr. Milan is. I've seen his experiments with my own eyes. I've seen what happens when the bodies are disposed of and the burning fires of the furnace. But he does what's required to justify the means. There are few men in this world who will do what has to be done. For that, I admire him. He told me to watch over Dr. Williams' experiments. It seems they're unofficial, and although I, pre I, uh, I prepared a report to Kane to have her removed from her position, Dr. Milan immediately overruled my request. I respect him, but to be honest, I don't like having my authority overruled. Backman, of all people, were, was sniffing around today. It seems the old psychopath suddenly became curious. I asked Dr. Milan for further instruction, and he told me to incapacitate the old man. This I did. A shame I had to break the old guy's kneecaps. Honestly, I was hoping to slit his throat, his throat but Dr. Milan insisted that he remain alive. Alive and in pain, but unable to move. I'm revis revising my earlier opinion that of that the Santos character. I still think he's a pathetic little shit, but I now believe he was partly responsible for some of the stolen information. He strikes me as an amateur, but up to this point, up to this by an outside agent. I'll deal with the Santos soon, but first I got to monitor his movement. Make one move, pal, and I'll have you. Dr. Milan has earmarked me for one of his experiments. I know this because when I attempted to leave the ship to report to Kane Corp, I discovered that my access was restricted and blocked. I came back to my quarters and found Milan waiting there. He was waiting with two of those hellish creatures, critters that he has created. I'm not squeamish, but those things make me nauseous. I'm currently awaiting what he calls processing. I suppose at this stage I could make, I should make peace with God. I've killed many men in my life, and I'll never say that I feel remorse for it. 
and I won't give Dr. Milan the satisfaction of hearing me pray for mercy. My last note on this affair are that Dr. Milan himself is at the heart of the events on board the ship. I was blind to it, I refused to believe that he was capable of creating such devastation. I always thought that scientists lack control, but Milan breaks all the rules as far as science is concerned. The leaked information, the fungal growth, the missing scientists, I'm beginning to suspect he even knew that Santos was actually selling intelligence and may have fed the information to sell. To that end, I don't know. I suspect it was because the Santos kept back my drug to the eyeballs with whatever powerful stimulants he happened to have so Backman could continue his work. I can hear the machines being turned on. I welcome my fate. At least I know that I did my job for Kane Corporation. Oh, is that a good thing? Open powers. Oh, okay. Really? You need to go around to check on the thing? Okay. Let's see. We need the... The, the power cells. How are we gonna get those? How are we gonna get those power cells? Glue? Glue what? That? Hmm. Yep, apparently not. I can try to make it fit, but it may break. Hmm, maybe. Eh, no. I need to open... Hmm. Hmm. I can try to make it fit, but it may break. Did you just, like, smash things? It doesn't work like that. Yes, it does. You just take it by the end and smash the other end at something. Hmm. Maybe. Uh, no. These don't go well together. Can I use this with that? I think that will just break it. The fuck? Come on. There's something I'm missing. Let's go back here and see if we can find something. From these power cells? No. Work light, power pad. There's another that. Tool belt. 
It does something. I step on it. <laughs> Can I smack the work life? Not that I know Maybe why. It... No. No, that won't work. Uh, anyway, it's it's um it's been almost an hour, so <laughs> I gotta quit this now. I hope you liked this episode and lots and lots of story. Um, but I hope you liked it anyway. I'm sorry for my rambling and inability to speak proper English at this time. But anyway, if you liked it, comment and thumbs up or thumbs down if you didn't like it. And subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye! Okay.